Hello guys, this is Aditya from TechBotting bringing to you the latest updates about the NHS ransomware attack. Now, you must have heard a lot of hype about a potential virus or a malware that is affecting the systems of NHS and many big organizations currently. So, let's first go to the roots of the event to understand what the hype is all about. The type of virus by which the systems of NHS, that is the National Health Scheme, have been affected is known as ransomware. As it can clearly be understood from the name that the virus deals with the ransom. It is a virus which once established in your system locks down all your access to your files and data and to get back the access to your data and files you are asked to pay a huge amount of money in turn. After transferring the money by the desired means to the hacker you may get your files back. This is the way how ransomware attacks work. These ransomwares can be of two types. The first one encrypts your files whereas the second one locks down your whole computer. In both these cases the background of the screen changes to a message or a notice from the hackers which gives the details about the way to contact or the payment to the hacker. Now as you have gained a brief insight into what ransomware is and its type, let's dig into how NHS is affected by it and what is all this hype related to. Nearly 10 hours ago almost 48 of the NHS hospital's data was compromised. The virus which affected the system was claimed to be ransomware by the cyber security professionals. The Skunderland automotive plant of Nissan was affected by the cyber attack and the plant systems were shut down halting the production of the Nissan cars by 5 pm on Friday. UK Prime Minister Theresa May officially gave the statement about the cyber breach at the NHS hospitals and assured that there has been no evidence of the health data of the patients being compromised. An anonymous cyber security expert claiming himself as malware tech 22 years of age stopped the ongoing cyber attack but also warned at the same time that the attack was not permanently stopped and could reboot at any moment. Home Security Minister Amber Rudd goes public saying that a majority of the systems are working properly now after her meeting with the National Cyber Security Agency. The Scottish government broke out the news that 13 of the NHS boards in Scotland were also affected by the cyber attacks on Friday. So these were the updates in chronological form till now. The cyber attackers have spread a file named WannaCry also known as WannaCryptor 2.0 which is responsible for the jamming of the systems. An amount of dollar 300 to 600 was asked in the form of bitcoins as a ransom from the computer owners affected by the virus. While for the government organizations, the attackers have raised the amount of ransom by dollar 20,000 more. Along with the systems of NHS, almost 100 other countries have been affected by the attack, and Microsoft Windows 10, which is world's most used OS, is primarily targeted by the hackers. Cybersecurity analysts are claiming that this attack is one of the biggest in its kind in the history. Countries such as UK, US, Canada, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy and Mexico are most affected by this attack. Private companies such as FedEx and the plants of car companies such as Nissan, Volkswagen are also experiencing system shutdowns due to the virus. So now let's take a look at how will you prevent this attack occurring to you. First of all, back up all your important data to a system not connected to the internet or a hard disk drive. Do not click any suspicious emails or links on any sites. Use good antivirus. And if unfortunately you are affected by this ransomware, please do not pay it because there is no guarantee that your files will be recovered. So this was the complete breakdown of the NHS cyber hack. For more updates, stay tuned to techbotting.com. Please subscribe the channel for more updates and like and share the video. See you till the next time. Peace.